It's OTR Views in the building. We got my boy Ty Z in the building. What's up, bro? What's happening? What's happening? What's up with you, bro? Tell us a little bit about you, bro. Uh, yeah, bro, I'm from Columbus, Columbus, Texas. Uh, born in Houston and raised in Columbus. Uh, shoot, man, I've been doing music since I was little. Uh, shoot, man, growing up there, just, you know, you got to make something out of nothing. Yeah. It's a small town, so you have to... Be active, you know what I'm saying? Stay active to not get into no no crazy stuff. Stay yeah. out of trouble. Hell yeah, yeah, sure. They usually say the smaller towns, that's where the craziest shit go down there. Yeah. Man. For real. Y'all got any artists out like that that made it kind of like out of there from there before or close to there? Uh, nah, like the only one that was like probably close is probably Brookshire with DJ Toy. Oh, okay, okay. That's like 45 minutes up the road. Where okay. Was, you know, where, he, where he was from, where he was doing. Okay. And then like uh, I got rappers that rap with me, you know, I got my own studio, I'm on okay. my so okay. I got artists, my younger guys, they all record them, they probably in the now I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. So so how do y'all really like push the music out there? Do y'all just do y'all do it? Uh, honestly man, when I got to college, that's when I started. When I had went to Blinn uh, for two years, graduated, got an associate, then went to Texas State. And I uh, start doing music. I start t t taking it more serious out there, and then I uh, start pushing it around like, certain classes, letting them know hey, I'm a rapper. I make beats. I produce too. You know what I'm saying? Kind of pushed it at Texas State, and then uh -huh. uh, graduated from there. Then I go back, and they they know they recognize that he do music and stuff like that. So I kind of pushed it around the college campus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what do, what do you plan to bring like different to the music industry, bro? We got a lot of different like yeah. different artists coming out, a lot of good shit, a lot of crazy shit, yeah. a lot of bad shit. So what do you? Yeah, I mean, with me, like, I don't I don't promote violence and you know, nothing like that. I don't I don't rap like like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't promote like gang banging and stuff like that. I don't talk about that in my music. You know, I just talk about like uh, just want like some good content to where you know you sit in your car. And, you you can listen to it with your kids. You ain't gotta turn it down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of like I dropped two songs today uh, called "You and Me" and "Grief," and they they songs like that. You know what I'm saying? They just strictly to the strictly to the point. You know, bad vibes. We we, we good vibes over there. Yeah. That's it. You know what I'm saying? No crazy stuff. Yeah, you was kind of talking about the ladies on the grief too, huh? Yeah. yeah. I heard you say something about that. Why? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about the grief, man. What brought up the grief? Uh, grief, man. It's like I know I know females in certain situations to where uh, they they taking care of dudes hmm. and not giving them credit for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get and that. then they got dudes that's like you know that kind of do what they want to do type. So that kind of the, the stuff I was on. I know that came from a story that I know from a friend. Oh, okay. you know, on grief, did you kind of dedicate that to somebody? Was you kind of talking about somebody in that one, or was yeah, it just? It was like, you know, it was a scenario based song. Like I'm pretty sure somebody went through it. Yeah. I mean, I kind of, I know the girl that kind of went through that situation. Yeah. So I kind of just put it in a song like that because it's real life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it goes on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of just made a record out of it. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the hardest part that you would say about pursuing? A music career, bro, full time at least. The business part, the business part is probably the hardest part. That's the part that I didn't take serious at first. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know nothing about the music business. Mm -hmm. So when I got to uh, the guy that gave me confidence was really hard by the key. He okay. gave me the most confidence. It was a uh, new music Mondays. I was at uh, Texas State. I had one record out. And okay. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go on his, call his station. Yeah. And, have him play the record and see what kind of feedback I got. And yeah. I was at the library at Texas State. Yeah. I called it, called in, I got through. He answered it, he spun the record. I was like, if I spark one person's mind, this is for me. Yeah. And once I did, people start commenting and commenting. And then he told me, he said, bro, you can rap. Yeah. And he said, bro, you can rap, you can rap. And that's all the, that's all the, he been in the game so long. So to get right. feedback from him like that, that's how I knew, like, I'm ready, but I need to take it more serious. And a lot of my business stuff wasn't, I wasn't ready at first, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, right. like even like uh, Webby, you know, Webby had an artist named, got an artist named Kato. He had shot a text at me on some feature. You know, if you do a feature for him, it's a hit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I work with you, but my business wasn't set up. Uh, so okay. I'm blow, I don't know what I, I don't know what, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm just go out there doing stuff and not knowing 
I ain't got the business part down yet, so I have to study the game right. a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, once Webby tweeted me on Twitter, he talked, you know what I'm saying, through to, to text, he tweeted me and shouted me out. Right. That's another thing I needed to build that confidence. Like, I got, I got this, I got some, I can do this. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. So what what would you say really not without telling like without giving everything away like what would you say goes into the business part of music? Um, like you gotta have like um, like publishing stuff like that, man. That stuff is very important. You right. know what I'm saying I want to be the, the one that's getting checks in the mail when I'm sixty. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. That's, that's a goal for me. You know what I'm saying? To, for, for longevity, I want to be around for a long time. You know right, and then too, you want to actually get paid for everything. Yeah. You want to own yeah. everything yeah. too. No, no, a lot of people fuck around and get a hit and yeah. not get paid yeah. for the hit and be sick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So no, definitely, and I, I don't want to be like this. So I, I, just, I feel like I need to learn the business first. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's how that came about. And even uh, like even with the record, the record with. Uh, it's kind of the same way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He hit me. I met him in Columbus in my own town. That's a trail ride. He heard my music. He had commented on one of my things a while back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I met him at a trail ride. We exchanged numbers. He sent me beat package. Picked the beat I wanted. Did the business. Got the record. He was on my last, he produced a song on my last mixtape. You know what I'm saying? I did the record in like two hours at my studio. Sent it back to him. Get him thumbs up. Oh, yeah, and that kind of let them know you're serious kinda too. Let them know, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't feel like I feel like uh, it's a lot of slept on artists. You know what I'm saying? All right. I feel like I'm I'm probably slept on because like I gotta push myself, I gotta market myself a little different. All right. But marketing, I gotta be right on mm -hmm. shit. I feel like the marketing comes first. You right. Know what I'm saying? Cause the music, the talent is gonna be there. Right. But I feel like the marketing is very important. Right. Yeah. Most definitely. I feel like that come first. Though. Most definitely. Kind of give us a kind of a top five of artists that you would want to work with. Oh, Lil Wayne for sure. Okay. Lil Wayne, uh, uh, Drake for sure. Uh, out of Houston, man. Zero. Zero changed my life, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. He, he changed my life, so if I could work with him, you know, that would, that would be crazy, you know what I'm saying? And Wiz Khalifa, you know what I'm saying? I feel like okay. those dudes kind of, you know, they kind of, they, they, they got a sound, they got a certain sound, you know what I'm saying? Right. They just, they rappers, but they sound overall is different. Right. You know what I'm saying? And me producing first, that's very important to me. Right. I produce first, then I rap. Right, you know what right. I'm right. So that kind of saves you a lot too, since you do produce first and yeah. then rap. Because a lot of artists don't even know how to record themselves. Yeah, I, I mix and master my own stuff. I'm hands on with everything. When yeah. I record it, I mix and master right then and there. Right. I put it out. You right. know what I'm saying? So, I never, I never been to no big studios. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not yet. But okay. Maybe one day. Yeah. Okay. I can see it coming. So, if producing popped off for you first, would you focus more, like, just mainly on producing than rap, or would you still rap? Um, I probably, I probably still do both. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cause I like, I like rapping. You know what I'm saying? I probably still do both. But uh. If I could choose one, yeah. it should be producing probably. Cause for real? I already know, like in my mind, I'm not gonna be doing this for rapping forever. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if I know the other tools, right. you, know, you know what I'm saying? They gonna, people need an engineer, right. they need a producer, you know what I'm saying? So I think longevity, you know, in that, in that way. Okay. Most definitely. Okay, man. Tell us a little bit about a couple, like some goals that you got in the next six months to a year for your music, right? Okay. Baby Jeans music. This is my brand. You know okay. what I'm saying? Uh, pushing my brand and um, music wise, I just want to put out a lot of music videos. Just flood the industry with just music videos. You know what I'm saying? And uh, for the game overall, just put that good content out. You know what I'm saying? And uh, told myself, yeah, I'm going to get over a million streams on Spotify. Okay. It's coming. You know what I'm saying? I told myself that's coming. Right. And uh, it's a few, few goals. Yeah. Right. Most definitely. For sure, man. And shout out your social medias, bro. Where can we find you and where can we find your two new singles that you got out uh, right now? I am, I am Taze. 
on Instagram and uh, Twitter, Zay underscore Wilson. Okay. And uh, Facebook is just Tazay Tazay Wilson. Okay. All right, man. Appreciate you tapping in with us, bro. We're going to definitely look into, you know, what you got coming in the next, like I said, six months to a year. Oh, and we tapped in with you. I appreciate you tuning in with us. Oh,